times a fucking show, the subway comes and the whole thing rumbles. Yeah. And the this, ambulance is through the window. Hold on. This is your studio. Yeah. Looks like an executive suite. What do you do when a freaking ambulance drives by? Do you hear it? Yes. So what happens then? We, like... You don't have an answer for that, do you? Okay, what? just keep it to yourself. What happens, what happens when the subway goes by? Do you the hear that? Goes, yes. The so what yes. do you do then? What do you mean, what do you do? What, you're making a professional production. Yeah. What do you do when an ambulance goes by? Rawr, rawr, rawr. What do you do? We're going we're gonna to seal it up. But you didn't seal it up. This guy's working here. Yeah. Trying. So, Trying. is this guy all Get talk up. or does he actually do what he says? It was it's a nice out of studio that works when we move into it. Yeah. So, you got a subway underneath. There's a whole building shake. Whole building, building yeah. What the hell are you going to do about that? I can't. There's nothing. John, so, then why is the studio here? Yeah. Guys, this makes no sense. How long is your list of shit you got to do? Uh, I mean, it's pretty long. It's long. So, does it ever get shorter? Yes. Does it ever get shorter? No. And his changed. penis doesn't work. Nothing so that changed. too, so the subway situation has been solved. No. no. Can you hear the equipment in here? Yes, you hear it right through the microphone. Okay, so the equipment is fucked up. The window is fucked yep. up. The location is fucked up. His it penis. looks like an executive suite, and this is all on you. And he's gotten fatter, too. And his penis doesn't I've work. Gotten, I got at, fatter, and then I got thinner. Look at even come. I got fatter, and then I got thinner to be He doesn't fair. come. Well, honestly, you got to do a better fucking job. Yeah, okay. Okay, I hope you fuck better than this. Yeah. Here we go. Ready, Hank? Let's have a good show, boys. Three, two, one. Five. Start of the year, taking our uh, talents down to Atlanta in the Devour bus, and we made a stop off in Virginia Tech. Our friend Buzz Williams, probably not going to give us a scholarship. Mm, he appreciated our hustle. Hustle. It doesn't look like we have much talent. It's early in the morning, so half of them are still asleep. I've never coached a guy wearing sunglasses and a suit at the same time. So it doesn't look like we have much to work with. So coaching will be imperative with this group. But that's a nice way of saying you guys stink. Get out of my building. Right? Yeah. You worked hard. We also, now leave. Yeah, we also showed up and it was like 5 in the morning and he already had benched and squatted for the day. Mm -hmm. And we felt like sad sacks, but we gave it everything we had. And we're not ball players, but... Honestly, we're grinders? Yeah, we're grinders. The best player by far Not was the app. We're grinders. Yes. We interviewed 11-year-old sensation 12. Mason Rudolph. Hello, guys. It's me, Mason Ramsey. What's up? There you, want, you go. You want Can to do you a dab real guns? quick? What? Dab real quick for the people. Uh, Are you not allowed to dab anymore? Not allowed to dab anymore. Oh, can wow. You, can you give the double finger I'll guns dab the for you. Do that. There you I'll go. I'll dab for you. <laughs> I'm a big boy, and I can dab whenever I want. Uh, 13 actually now. Yeah, he was later featured on a Lil Nas X album. Mm -hmm. Probably gave him that bump to get him that clap to get on there. Yep. Uh, we did the Fortnite dance with him. Yep. And we also said his name correctly, Mason Ramsey, mm -hmm. when we when we interviewed him. We did that and we played the jelly game with him. That was kind of weird. Is there all, all in all a strange day? Very weird. Who's another good 11 year old that we could interview? Uh, Mbappe. Mm. We could interview Mbappe. That would be cool. Yeah, that would be awesome. We get him. Who? Lil Tay Tay. Oh, Lil Zan. Is she in prison yet? Freedom! I'm not afraid to go back to the food court of the media center portion of the Mercedes Benz Superdome media tent. Never get in a fight with someone who's got nothing to lose. This album is dedicated to all the chunk in the world, in thickness and in health. To all the people that called the cops on me when I was just trying to exercise my right not to exercise. It's chunk, it's fine, got a curve on my wide, Hong Kong, drive by, panorama fit both sides. Looking ripe, I think it pumpkin wants a pipe. Tuck, 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 look at the ass on that chipmunk. This 
too drunk to get my spark I put a white streak on that scar I can't believe my eyes Carrot kicks right through my thighs my ass is sticky P I'm tricky P I'm chain compound tricky Look at this fucking glacier Melted down with just one facial Thick ass mountain got me shouting I'm out Everest ain't no doubting It's Joe no. It's fine Got a curve I'm out wide Hong Kong Drive by Panorama Fit both sides It's Joe no. Fucking horse, body wide as a 911 Porsche. In the winter time, still wear shorts. When I die, leave a drunk ass corpse. So drunk that I'm looking like your dad. No room when I'm sliding in a cab. Got your baby mama feeling on my flap. Chick fil A, start a motherfucking tab. The original inspiration for the chalk music video was an otter that was put on Twitter that got shamed off of Twitter for being problematic mm -hmm. uh, because it said, what was it saying, like, Lord, she coming? Yeah. Is she chonk? And people were like, don't fat shame otters. Yeah. Like, you know what? We will fat shame otters, mm -hmm. along with every other species in the world. Mm -hmm. So we just wrote a song about thick shit. It's my friend PFT's first time here. You got any first impressions? I'm loving it. I think it's patently ridiculous that any stadium allows people in before 7 a.m., uh, but here we are. Face yourself. I, I've heard that there is a tradition in the South Stands where you throw piss on the people. Can you confirm or deny? Confirmed. Oh, there's piss! There's piss! Piss is being thrown. It happens. Are, Are you guys piss throwers? Uh, yeah. I'm more of a piss receiver. <laughs> I feel like I'd be really good at getting hit with piss. All right, day two of Hong Kong Sevens. How you doing, bud? I'm hurting a little bit. Yesterday was a long day. Woke up this morning, no voice. I got French guys behind me, my head's throbbing. I have to listen to French people chanting. So um, I think I'm gonna do some MDMA. I think that's the move. It's artificial happiness, and we're definitely not gonna be getting natural happiness sitting around a bunch of French dudes. Do you know how many hits this is in this bag? I would, I would just put the whole thing in the drink, share the drink. This is going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited. All right, PFT, let's do a little status report. I got to tell you, I, I am so fucked up right now. We're walking on sunshine, baby. Tony, I'll be honest with you right now. I feel amazing. This is like... The coolest feeling I've ever had in my life right now. It's awesome. That's Hong Kong Sevens for you. Mixed with a little MDMA. What's the capital of Thailand? Bangkok. No, no, no. no Bangkok. No. Okay. You asked me the question. Yeah, I know. I You're going to hit I me. No, I wasn't. But I was too bright for you. We don't do that right anymore. We don't do that. We'll I know. I took it too far. Yeah. Uh, Hong Kong was great from what I remember. It was a dumb ass idea of me to fly over there, business class, and then fly back coach. I was so dehydrated from not doing drugs on the flight back. Drug guy. That, uh, that was a birth of drug guy. I didn't pee for 18 hours. So that was nice. Grit Week LA, I'm excited to explore a different part of the country. Maybe get a little bit of that sublime grittiness, you know, uh, early 90s, Tony Hawk kind of feel to it. I'm excited about everything. The weather, the work. We're actually putting in a lot of grit this week. People are like, oh, you're down in SoCal, you're just chilling. Guess what? We're living in a van down by the river, okay? The ocean, God's river. The point he was trying to get across is the dog has a boner. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 the dog has a boner. Yeah. And so they all it's a pack of sled dogs, right? And yeah. they go out, and they all make fun of this one boner dog because he's got a boner. Yeah. And none, none like, of the no, other you dogs. Know, you got always got a boner, dog. You know, these flaccid little dog dicks yeah, that yeah. aren't red. And so they get lost out in the wilderness, right? Super lost. And the only way they can get back is Boner Dog follows the trail of his boner, his boner. to get back home. It's like a, like a little and fucking like, rudder. Get this. Uh, the dogs are played by Kevin Hart. Mm -hmm. Are their voices? It could be animated. Either way, your call. Oh, um, I love that. Kevin, Kevin Hart. One more voice. sidebar. One more Kevin sidebar. Kevin Hart. Jack Black. Let's make sure that we give Zach the role of the boner. 
the lead, the yeah. lead boner. No, the boner. Yeah, we left Zach mm. out of the poster for boner dogs because awesome we're negotiation. idiots. No, that's negotiation. Yeah, we nagged him. So uh, we're gonna have to pay him less because he's not on the poster. We literally are just so stupid that our biggest uh, celebrity friend who agreed to be in our movie, we completely forgot about. Like, that's the dumbest thing you can do. We, yeah. we've, we've, agree we've had other people agree to be in it that are not as big a celebrity as Zac Efron. And then Zach legitimately was like, I'll be in Boner Dogs. And then whoops, we forgot. I think we even put like Kevin James on the movie poster and we don't know him. Yeah. But we forgot our friend Zach Shit. Efron. And also Chris well, Tucker's Chris also Tucker, problematic. Chris thing, that's like... No, Chris Tucker's problematic. Well. well, that's one way to make a bong. Fuck. One, two, three. Did you throw yours? I did. Oh, okay. Nice. Good rap. You sick. Your house is pretty nice, but I'm sure you've heard that before. Yeah. Do you know anything about us? Um. Dan Bilzerian was really cool. We can, and we honestly cannot say anything else because we signed a very strict NDA mm -hmm. just for entering his home. Dan Bilzerian. Nope. Is. Uh, nope. Here to work. Okay, we're at our paperwork ready. Let's go get your seat. Okay. That's a lot of paperwork. Yeah, it's not. You don't need it for days, girl. <laughs> trying to fill this up. What will you be doing this summer at Barstool? I don't know. What will I be doing this summer at Barstool? My darling Jilly. Jilly football. Jilly, Jilly is. Four balls. She is a trip. Jilly is. She's a lady about town. Um, she is very active. She didn't lie on her resume at all. She's active. Is it Miss Bradley or Miss Bradley? Ms. Oh, look Ms. at this, yeah. handwritten. I know. Well, yes. let me tell you, I have a real one on my computer, but there's no, there's no. Problem. Okay. But this is, re I mean, that's a real one. I don't know what you need from me. Okay. Oh, I like this. Experienced at NYC. Just New York City in general. Because I walk around all the time. She's stronger than she looks, mm -hmm. and she's good at decluttering. Let's so see. I'm gonna, I'm tidying gonna, up. I'm gonna, tidying I'm up. I'm gonna pull up Julie Football's Twitter. She's, and see her last tweet. She's awesome at Twitter. She's awesome at Twitter. Her last tweet said, uh, "At my age, when someone ghosts you, it means something completely different." <laughs> and then she said, "Bad call." <laughs> I enjoy liking random strangers' payments on Venmo. That's a weird thing. Yeah, that's very strange. Yeah. So, but you got to keep active, you know? It gets boring from like hole 5 to 12. You're just like, where am I right now? Uh -huh. You are bored during a tournament? Yeah. 5 through 12? Yeah. I literally can't <laughs> tell you what like what happened during those holes. You kind of like black out. You're like, oh. Like, yeah. is, everything's repetitive. It's It's whatever. true, though, because when you golf, there is like the first three holes where you're like, okay, I yeah, feel good today. Super pumped. And then like right around 14, you're like, all right, I got a few left. Yeah, exactly. And then mm -hmm. anything in between, it's just whatever. Can I get a hot dog after nine? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're just looking. A couple beers. Everybody getting drunk. Blake, uh, Brooks Kepka became an honorary Blake in our eyes because his vibe is that of a Blake. Are you intimidated by the fact that the two guys like us that are huge sports fans, alpha guys, don't really care for golf? No. I mean, I'll be honest, I, I don't watch it. I don't watch it when I'm out, when I'm away from it. That's when, that's when we knew, and yeah. we're like, wait, you're like a top five golfer of all time, maybe. Yeah. So uh, his vibe, he's got that South Florida, I'm kind of a cool dude, I don't really you know, need this, but I'll do it to make millions of dollars and have all this fame, but I kind of don't want it. Mm -hmm. That's a Blake. I think there was a little contention with uh, a little new kid on the Blake block. Blake Griffin was a little like, hey, now I gotta compete with another Blake, because you know, he thought it was just him versus Bortles. So I think there was a little bit of a, hey, this guy wasn't born a Blake, but they came to realize that he is a Blake at heart. Yeah, listen, you can you can identify as a Blake even if you weren't assigned Blake at birth. This is Brooks Kepka, Blake of the Year nominee number one. Whoa, Whoa, that was quick. That was shit. quick. Brooks, okay, Brooks. Blake, Blake, excuse me, Blake. <laughs> oh. that, you just answered in 7.9 seconds. Ooh. You were the first one that we called. <laughs> to a new record. Well, we'll see. We're gonna, I'll call you back because we're gonna, we're, we're now gonna call the other Blakes and we'll let you know if you won. That was... That's gonna be tough to beat. That's gonna be tough to beat. Holy shit. I love the fact that I was looking at my phone at this point. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, fuck. But, 
you were the you were the long shot. We'll call you back. We'll, we'll get it and we'll call you back. We'll let you know. Okay. All right. Seven point nine seconds. Holy let shit! Me jot that I down. didn't expect that. That is. Whoa. I did not expect that. Okay. All right. So now we got Blake, Blake Griffin. Griffin. Now this one. I'm legit nervous. He's for about him. to. Be, he could become the Buffalo Bills of Blake's. Oh my God. Okay. Here we go. All right. Ready. All right. I am getting the call set up. Tell me when you hit send. And I'm. And I'll listen. Hitting send. Hello. 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 Oh! oh! Shut up! Holy shit! Oh my God! Two point eight seconds. Oh my God! All right, we'll call you back. But as of right now, you are in the lead. Brooks Kepka picked up in 7.9 seconds, which was incredible. That was it. That, what a performance. No, no, you no, picked no. up in 2.8. Brooks Kepka picked up in 7.9. We're like, that's going to be tough to beat. Holy shit. All right, we'll call you back, okay? Oh, yes. Okay, we'll call you back. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, all right. He's got to be. I think that was the relief of not having to hold his phone yes. for the entire yes. red next two days. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, now, now if, oh if Blake Bortles wins this, it Legend, would be the Legend. greatest performance of all time. This would be legendary stuff. Like I am nervous. This is his Hall of Fame moment if he if he's able to rise above this competition. And if he doesn't pick up, he's going to be he's he will be like the Toronto Raptors that one year a team just won out of randomly, mm -hmm. and we look back in history and we're like, oh, remember when Bortles won it? He'll be an also ran. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Yep. Okay, here we go. Call is being placed. It's a problem. It's, it's just sitting there saying calling mobile. Oh no. We have a new Blake of the Year. Wow. If he doesn't even pick up. Incredible. Blake Griffin put together the greatest performance that we'll probably ever see in the Blake of the Year competition. He had uh, well, we don't know someone holding his phone for him, ready at any moment uh, while he was practicing. So he was doing both. He was getting better, and then he was winning Blake of the Year. Mm -hmm. Incredible. One of my favorite things about Blake Griffin being Blake of the Year is that people are actually chanting 2.8 at mm -hmm. him. Like he's gonna he's gonna be synonymous with that. It's like Wilt Chamberlain holding up the hundred, Blake holding up the 2.8 that's like his number now 2019 Blake of the year it is Blake Griffin uh, your victory lap you've been on I saw you at Disney World mm -hmm. you have been in parades you're now in New York City partying mm -hmm. um, and I just want to say congratulations again welcome to the new studio thank that you. we have not done anything new with All right. and it's great to have you here thank you thank you it's been a, a bit of a whirlwind mm -hmm. obviously yeah but um I don't know, man. Just trying to trying to like soak it all in and enjoy this moment because you know not a lot of not a lot of Blakes get to to live this. That's uh, very true. This, that is true. How, come true. How has your life changed since winning Blake of the Year? Uh, true story. I was just I was walking here and a guy goes Blake and I look over. He goes Blake of the Year, baby, two point eight. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, get that money, baby. How many random people have come up to you? So many. I was on a flight when it like the the Blake of the Year came out. And uh, when I landed in Atlanta, you would have thought I had just literally won like a like a low division two championship. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Atlanta. Yeah, uh, we want for Blake of the Year next year. What we would really like to do is get all three Blakes under the same roof and have them compete in some type of academic and athletic decathlon. Not academic. That, no, that, no, I think we should have them do academics as well. That room might be too chill though. It would be very funny to. That be would like, be the. How, <laughs> how many, how, like, how many state? they have to name all the states, and then we just, like, go and have dinner, mm -hmm. and come back, maybe go to sleep, and then come back. Fly back to New York. Just staring at the middle of the country. Yeah. Trying what, to figure out. One of these is Nebraska. Yeah. Um, all right, my last question is, I think you like me, and I want you to know that I don't like you. Good question. That's okay. Okay. I still like you. Uh, no, it's, see, it, don't do that. It's, don't it's, do that. How can you not like I, you? I mean, no, don't do that. Don't do that. As soon as I see you on the sidelines, when you're coaching week one, I'm like, this guy, fuck him. He's the worst. <laughs> Unless you lose. And I'll be like, oh, I love Matt LaFleur. He can coach mm -hmm. for them forever. I'll still dap you up. Yeah, I'm gonna okay. Come, I'm going to come look for you. I do like you, but I don't. Guaranteed better than 10 Yeah, yeah. I don't actually like you, but I like, like you're nice and you're a great guy. But after this, it's on. Matt mm -hmm. LaFleur. 
He, that really was good fun. coach. He pretended that uh, he and Aaron Rodgers get along. Great coach, good looking guy. That was great. We got to sit down with two great fullbacks, Danny and John Kuhn, and they just started talking about running into people. Uh, what's the best block you guys have ever had? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of change it a little bit, but the biggest collision I ever had was like two years ago, I think. Um, me and Miles Jack, we were just running like an ISO play, and we just fucking collided. And, uh, you know, kind of get your head bounced back, seeing stars. And I look at them. First of all, I felt like my head was like just a totally different shape. Um, <laughs> and I looked at him. We were like, fuck. Like both of us like <laughs> dab each other up. And then I, I end up running off the, the field and I take off my helmet. I'm like I said, checking, making sure my head's not like a different shape. Uh-huh. Turn my face mask around and it was just fucking caved in. Oh, like shit. My, my whole face mask. So I got to keep that. So that okay. was my biggest collision. That, that was pretty cool. Pretty How what happened it? on the play? I mean, it was, it, I don't even, Who it knows? probably was like a. <laughs> 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 yeah. Hell if I know. The plays 50 yards downfield. Yeah. They're just dapping each other. They're just really <laughs> each other by accident. Yeah. Like, bro, Might have been awesome. a four yard gain for all I know. <laughs> but That's what fullbacks do if you just let them talk for long enough. Yes. They'll just start talking about a time they ran into somebody really hard. We actually had John Lynch on, and he said that you were told that you two couldn't hit each other in practice because you hit each other harder than anyone's ever been hit. So that was with Herm Edwards. Okay. Herm, excuse me. When Herm Edwards was uh, the DB coach, all right, so uh, he, uh, I guess, you know, after talking to John, that I was a clavicle breaker. So don't hit him. So <laughs> oh, you <laughs> guess you were a clavicle breaker. <laughs> well, I mean, I, well I, <laughs> it seems like you're, you, were you walking around being like, damn, all these guys are going on IR after they hit me. <laughs> no, but really, I mean, we were really probably, you know, Less than two or three times, really, right. ever made contact, you know, in practice, you know, because obviously he's going to come in the box and he wants to pop people and stuff like that. But, and both uh, of them are crazy. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to put you guys both on the spot here. Tough, tough decision for fullbacks. Cowboy collar or neck roll? Cowboy. Neck roll. I got dressed up for them, uh, wore a bow tie. I, I felt like the, the occasion was formal enough. Then Lorenzo put up 75 reps. His arms bench. aren't legal, though. He's got muscles that got don't exist. Short arms that just. He has a muscle that's like it's actually right if, here. I bet you he's really good at cranking if, off. If you know anything about benching, height is actually a disadvantage. So the one time in life where it pays to be short. Mm, a few times or other times. Ooh, you yeah, like, starred. I think you were the star of a a number of Adam Sandler movies. You're mm-hmm. friends with Adam Sandler. Um, we want to pitch you some Adam Sandler movie ideas, and you tell us if you think he would make them. You ready? Okay. All right, first one. It's uh, you know the movie This Is This Is Forty, Judd yeah. Apatow. Yeah. All right, so this is the sequel. It's called This Is Farty, and uh, Adam Sandler plays Doctor Peter Yu, Doctor P P U, and he is a uh, millionaire proctologist in L.A. And it's starring uh, Adam Sandler, David Spade, Rob Schneider, <laughs> Chris Rock. Cameos from Kevin Farley, Kevin James, Will Ferrell, and you. Okay, I like it. Do you think he'd make it? No, I love it. So the next movie, can't wait. Um, this, this one movie. is the exact same plot as no, Woody like Eller. No, keep wait. it going. Oh wait, no, 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 wait, I got wait. a gift. I'm getting a gift. No, 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 no. It's the same plot as Woody Eller. It's called it's Boner Dog. Oh no, no, Boner Dog. So it's Old Yeller, yeah. except he's got a boner the whole time. Wow, that was a great interview. Man, that that thing went by so quickly. I've got a lucrative opportunity for you, and a prestigious opportunity for being honest, because. I think that uh, with the names that we have attached, it could really do something. Uh, it's a movie. If you'd like to invest in it, if you'd like to star in it, produce it, act in it, up to you. Let it's me called, handle It's this. called Boner. Let wait, wait, Adam. Okay. It's for it's, Kevin. It's for oh, Kevin. No. It's not for you. <laughs> it's called Boner Dogs. It's my agent. Boner, right, boner, boner Dogs. Boner Dogs. So far, boner, so, far so good. Boner? Adam. Boner? I, I'm on your side. The word Stop. boner? Boner? Like dogs. Adam, yeah. if dogs oh, have boner. D-A-W. Yes. Not to give away the whole What's that, groin pains? Yeah. Like groin pains boner? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Adam, if, yeah. if I have a movie to pitch to you, I'll do it, but I'm talking to Kevin now. This is his opportunity. <laughs> Okay. Boner dogs? Boner dogs. Boner dogs. Yeah. So it's about a team of sled dogs, and uh, they make fun of the one who's not allowed to really be the sled dog because he's always got a boner, and none of the other ones get You like that, so Adam? So far, it's good. Uh, yeah, and man. all the other ones, like, you like it. they don't have uh, boners, but one does. It's kind of like a Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer type <laughs> thing. Adam. I'm <laughs> saying it, and I'm laughing in a great, great way. And, You're nailing this pitch, Pierre. And then, Go on, okay, going. and so uh, they bring in the dog that has the boner, and he's actually the one that saves the day at the end because they get lost in the woods. Yeah. But his boner drags through the snow, and they don't have. <laughs> they, they don't can know how to track it. They can find their they way back. Yes. Way. Yeah, okay, so yeah, Kevin, yeah. Kevin, uh, the people that we have loosely attached, 
and this is all true. We've talked to all these people, yes. all people that we've interviewed. Yeah. Uh, loosely attached, we have David Spade. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have Jimmy Tatro. Mm -hmm. We have Lawrence Taylor. Mm -hmm. We have, who else? Uh, Rob Kev Schneider. Rob Schneider. No, we don't. No, he's he attached. Uh, uh, Kevin, Kevin James. Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. Chris Tucker. Chris Rock. Uh, uh, who's playing Anna the boner dog? Who, uh, well, well the, the boner itself is voiced by Will Ferrell. Okay. The, the dog. Good. Yeah. How many dogs do you have? We need uh, nine dogs. Ten. You need nine yeah. dogs? Nine, nine dogs. So it's like reindeer boner. Are you in? Yeah. Are you in or you're out? I'm in. Okay. Yeah. All right, great. Right. So, Kevin's Kevin, in. Adam, yeah. great. you interested? You want, you want to invest? You want to get in? Exactly. Halfway? You to produce the kind of thing? Yeah. Yeah, you want to invest? I don't Okay. If you want, that's fine. Okay. So, Adam's. Adam Sandler, executive <laughs> so producer. Boner, boner, boner dogs, dogs. Uh, official. Also, this is actually a good opportunity for both of you. We're yeah. talking about Oscar buzz. Is it, eh? uh, <laughs> with this, we could even target, like micro-target a category. So we'll, we'll film it. Yeah. We'll do it in animated short overseas so it can be eligible for best foreign mm -hmm. animated well, short. No one watches. But we'll tape it in the Bahamas. And so we just get everybody to fly down there for there. a vacation. Oh, yeah. nice. And then while you're here, do the voiceover for the boner dogs. Mm -hmm. okay. And so you guys will be Oscar winners as well. It's not Are we all in? about that Paper for me, song. but yeah, all right. Are I, we I, in? I it, it might be it, it, yeah. You wouldn't say no to an yeah. Oscar, right? No, but oh, I, mean, no. I don't live for it. Well, you're going to win You want to get me one, yeah. Well, this yeah. will be your Gems. second one yeah, after Uncut Gems. Like, exactly. We're getting the wrap-up. We've got the wrap-up like way before the boner dogs yeah. pitch. Uh -huh. You guys needed the boner dogs. Paper this boner dog up. Let me see how serious y'all are. We have some renderings. Yeah, you know, dogs have boners. Mm -hmm. Dogs have boners and it's always funny. It's funny. I'm not gonna lie, watching that recap video of the history of boner dogs and the people that we've pitched it to, I got a little misty-eyed seeing it come full circle to completion. Well, I was gonna say, if we, I was watching the, the recap boner dogs video, it's like 10 minutes long. I think all we need to do is just mention it like 50 more times to 50 more guests. And then we do a super meta thing where the boner dogs movie is just that, so we don't have to do double work. So the movie itself is it's just us pitching, just us to other pitching boner dogs. Yeah, it's like the aristocrats. I mean, we did kind of do that. Right. But we could just make it longer. Right, right. I, I kind of forgot the plot of it, too, at times. Yeah, with Zac, Zac Efron. Efron. Yeah, yeah. That's but that's fine. I mean, we just, we had a sidebar, yeah. and we just said, Figured out the plot. The dog has a boner. The dog has a boner. And, and there's been people who have back to you. It's pointed funny. out there's a flaw in the system because there's dogs no, also have there's paws. No, there's no, yo, that's easily explained. So the boner drags deeper. Deeper. The That's right. Red That's lipstick runs say. deep. It drags deeper. It drags deeper. So when it snows, the paw prints get covered up. But exactly the boner what is I was the only say. thing yeah, left. It's deeper. There's no plot holes it's in boner dogs. Boner. Okay, all right. So you got you got to roll a twenty. We got to kill Hank. Okay. All right. So yeah. I'm gonna go with Hank. So what do I got to roll? So here? you got to roll with a plus five, and I'll just tell you it's a 13 you're trying to get against him. 13, and he's dead? And he's dead. Kill him. Hank, are you even paying attention? Ready? Ten. And with Ten. a plus five. Fuck. Plus oh, five. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, he's dead. 15 Hank's is a dead. hit. Yes. And I mean, we can just Suck roll it. it. But it's definitely going to be enough because you had plus five That's what you get this. for hanging out with goblins. You can draw both of them with a plus five. It's definitely going to knock him out. Oh. And it's, I just want to check if it's enough damage Seven to do. Seven two. So you had plus five to this 12 on top of what he already had. Yep. That would probably actually be an insta-kill yes. hit. Where he, Hank dies instantaneously. You messed with the wrong barbarian, the bitch. The goblin. Your smelling salts. Uh, yeah, it's like, it's like. Yep, there we go. PFT, I'm gonna say something nice about your corner that big bottle of dip spit that you had for like a month is gone. Yeah, and I don't know if it's still there somewhere, but it's gone out of my sight. Well, the big bottle of dip spit that you have is that's over yours. there too. That's no, yours. That's you. That's a Mountain that's Dew you. bottle. That's you, Big Cats. That is not. Big Cat came at the king and he had You the, take PFT you, takes yep. one sip out and then starts This is 100% percent uh, a PFT no, dip not. spit no, bottle. I don't yes. I don't I've never on your side. dipped in I a fucking Mountain Dew bottle ever. I would not put that on your side. Liam back me up. Have you ever PFT. seen me do no, this? Cat, I, as a Mountain Dew person, too, get disrespected yeah. because PFT is like, yo, let me get a Mountain Dew. Takes one right. sip of it and you then starts spitting. You gotta make sure so that your own house is in order before you start coming out of my corner. You spit into PFT it. just pushing his dip spit into my corner. Very contentious you know, right off the just bat. Just admit. That's not mine. 
Dude. So yeah, if you apologize, and we to don't know dips. if it was PFT's dips. But. No, we definitely. Let's both say I'm There's sorry. No one. Let's both say I'm sorry at the same time. Ready? No, because I don't think. No, you I swear to God. I'll God. S- no, listen. Hey, may, may this forever Can you, be. You want to throw in the one for me? May no. two. D- may this be a stain on my character for life if I don't apologize. No, no, no. I don't want an apology. I want you to admit that it was yours. You just said. And no one. You just said and apologize. No one, and, and now no you one, apologize. And no one has ever dipped by taking one sip of a Mountain Dew. It's just sad that some people will refuse to apologize for things. That they were Agreed. very clearly Agreed. proven wrong about using Agreed. Agreed. the formula. Agreed. All right, so count three. No. I listen. I'll, I I'm I'm sorry for saying that you you were doubting your formula. Thank you. But I need you to say that it was actually Thank yours because you. you're the only one who ever did. I'm sorry for. No, uh, that's not. I'm, see, I'm sorry see, for you actually can't with you. do it. You can't do it. I'm sorry for. I know you can't. Love you guys. <laughs> All right, love you guys. I love you guys. Oh, love you guys. I All love, right. love you guys. Love you guys. S- say, say uh, I love you. And- je t'aime. Je t'aime. Uh, j'aime. No, it's j'aime je t- Paul. Je, je t'aime. It means I love you. Puerto do we are Albano? Je t'aime la bibliothèque. Je m'appelle. Love you guys. Love you guys. Love you guys. Gonna say goodbye to Bob you guys, Bob is gonna right? say goodbye to you guys today. Love you guys. Love you guys. <laughs> Love you guys. <laughs> we should get cash. Love you guys. We should get cash app tattoos. Love you guys. It wasn't. It wasn't even my face that I. Love you guys. Love you guys. Love you guys. Love you guys. You're welcome. Love you guys. Thank me. Thank you, big cat. You're welcome. Thank you, Hank. You're welcome. Thank you, Bubba. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Guys. Love you guys. Love you guys.